Taurus, how's it going? You're just moving into um, the uh, your winter fully now. So you should be um, sort of putting in place all those sort of plans. But you'll know that if you've got the Astro Flower book, to the Taurus Astro Flower book. Uh, if you want to know more about the Astro Flower, there is links in the description below uh, to do with the elements and the petal system that we use on the Astro Flower. It's the system that developed over the last 30 years uh, of my extensive healings that I've been doing, and that's what I've been doing over the last 30 years. So let's just quickly go through it. There's the relationship side for those of you who don't know. And this is your money side, your business. These are your karmic paths, the influence from the universe, the influence from your guides on your karmic path, the influence of your guides on the inner conversation and how you combine the two together with the overall energy running through. The funny thing is, is you had this five of cups in this position here, which is now the queen of cups. So, and it was all about sort of, you know, belonging and finding your place. And if you really do need to find your place and how uh, best to find your place and, and for what reasons. And it seems, that message seems to be getting through to you. You seem to have realised last week that there's um, things, certain things in life are important to maintain. And we can't just keep, you know, going, going forward like that without realising that. And, uh, you know, it could be anything to do with business or it could be with relationships. It all needs to be nurtured somewhere along the line. And it seems like that message is going through. It's here. I think it was where basically we were talking, if I remember rightly, you might want to go back and see the weeklies or the monthlies that we've done for June as well on this channel. But here it's more of a case of, I think last time, last week it was a, uh, more case that you were disappointed because the world was not going as quickly as you'd want it to go. Don't forget you're still in your winter. So it's a, sorting out a lot of the root stuff, uh, the foundations of your coming year. Um, so let's just see what the overall energy is. And this is what this here is here. Let's see what the message is from here. So it's definitely coming from your uh, material side, your business, your money side of life. Uh, it seems to be something you're a bit more sort of concentrated on. Uh, and uh, so it's uh, on the, it, it, and it's sort of, it's almost as, as if it's like feeding your relationships. So you might be building relationships that are connected with your work uh, or connected with any projects you're doing. Um, and it, it, it's going to make you, it's going to make you feel a little bit more sort of at home and at ease within your relationships that are going on. And this is, it, it's still going through you here and it's still, it's, you know, you had the, um, playing smart card there, the seven of swords there. And I think this is more of a case, still a case of, um, could you're doing root stuff? Could you're doing a lot of stuff in your life at the moment that is under the surface. It's not really being seen and you want it to be seen. You want it to be out there. Um, but it's, it's, it's taking time. It's everything has got its own process to go through and it's being, having, I think here is more the, the disappointment is more a case of patience more than anything else. Um, and to realise that you've actually got a lot going on in your hand when you look at it. Um, OK, so I don't think it's a case of I don't think you should. Be, it's not that the universe is or the energy that's trying to overall energy that's trying to make you feel disappointed in life. It's just making you realise that you may not be able to do everything now. So you may want a helicopter, but you may not have the money to do that. Therefore, you've got to get a job in order to get a helicopter. I don't know. Why would Taurus want to be flying in a helicopter? Because they like it. Um, yeah, so let's just see. Um, let's see what's going on on your relationship side. This is really stable. Uh, the whole relationship side that coming across here is the information is the sort of like, it's very constant, very stable, very even. And even in this nine of pentacles, it's as if like uh, you've done that sort of, uh, you, 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 you're harvesting uh, the fruits of, of previous work at the moment. Work that you may have even forgotten about, but that's what it seems to be coming. And it seems like the, the universe and your guides are actually providing a lot for you at the moment. And that seems very similar to all earth signs, actually, to be honest. 
Um, yeah, and it's so the overall message here is make hay where the sun shines, basically. Uh, so uh, when your when your tomatoes are ripe, eat them. Enjoy your tomatoes. Uh, don't let them to uh, you know. Don't let, allow them to sort of you know go go rotten on the stem, as it were. Um, and it may be a case of just making sauce for tomorrow, but whatever it is, use it. Um, and I think it's a, within your relationships here. It's more of a case of use your relationships, not use it in a nasty way, but you know, connect with those people and, and use it as a way to make you feel uh, at ease with yourself. That's what it seems like. Let's just see how the universe is trying to guide this. Uh, uh, they're pushing in as well. The universe is pushing in. It's providing you with lots of options and possibilities. Um, they're, they're, they're almost encouraging you to... They're encouraging you to get a little bit more sort of precise with your relationships. That's what it seems like. So the moon, so it's, it's yeah. It's when you're going into these relationships. So if you're say like in with your couple um, and you know, you're doing something uh, in a certain job and you say, uh, I've got to go to a certain town uh, or certain place for my job. And your partner may turn around and say, oh, wow, you're going there. I've, I've always wanted to go there. And you never knew that. And these are these sort of things that the, the universe is offering you things that you just didn't, they sort of turn up out of the blue. So be very, you know, if things, if some things are just turning up out of the blue in your life, I would be very attentive towards it because that's what the universe is trying to encourage you, give you a heads up on, on what you should be exploring on that side. This, okay, so the guys here on... Uh, trying to influence your karmic path, very even, uh, very constant. It's almost as if they're like that, um, that you know, that silent advisor uh, that would occasionally kind of go, uh, hang on a second, uh, what would you like to know? What would you want with Taurus? Uh, yeah, okay, so this is what they want, you know? And they, they, so that, you know, they're, they're filtering it through in a way, but in a very nice and relaxed way. Uh, by the looks of things, oh, look at that, the emperor. It is that whole sort of situation. It is very solid. And I've got to say, it's very even-handed. And an emperor has already made their empire, so they're sure about themselves. And I think this is what they're trying to encourage within your within your um, relationships. The funny thing is, is, as well, here, okay, you have the five of cups in this position, and the emperor was in this position last time. So your guides were trying to talk you into that position of emperor position. And it seems to have happened now. And you're now getting into a position where it's providing those fruits. And because you've provided those fruits, you're going to be able to sit there or your guides are going to sit there kind of going, you know, Taurus has got a lot going on uh, for it. You know, it's going to uh, uh, attract a lot of attention. And your guides are sort of kind of saying, I'm sorry, can't this far too much. They're really, they're really helping you out here, uh, trying to help you really feel at ease of what you're doing and who you're with and, and how you live your life. So let's just have a look at how the guys are trying to influence the conversation that is within you. So this is coming from you. So they're almost asking you, sort of, sort of saying, what do you want to do? You know, what, they're, they're going to be questioning you, I think, in regards to relationships and even your spiritual path and your emotions. What do you want to experience as an emotion? Do you want to fly in the helicopter or would you prefer to just lounge in the sea, uh, you know, on the beautiful beach as it were? Is, is, this is what they're, they, this is, I think they're, they're, they want to know, what they want to know how they can help you better. That's what it's doing and it's got to come from you. So it's got to come from these fruits that you're, you're, you're receiving so you can actually say, yeah, I like that tomato, or I don't like that tomato. Choosing between which tomatoes you like, uh, it seems to be. So, Ten of Swords. So they, they may even be sort of like, um, they sort of saying, they may, you know, that conversation might be sort of like, kind of, I don't like this. I don't think it's Ten of Swords as in it's like a painful ending to a situation. 
But I think it's also uh, a case of uh, ripping off that, that, that Band-Aid really quickly. And I think this is where the guides will help you out and sort of say, do you like this? No, do you not like this? And say, okay, does this cause you pain? Okay, then this is how you best to sort, you know, not get involved with it. And they may be giving you the heads up. So I would be very attentive to things come out of the blue and realize and let it work through you so it gets to the top there. So then you have that conversation, you sort of say, that's come out of the blue, uh, no, I don't like that. Or comes out of the blue and kind of going, yeah, I do like that. And that painful thing may pull you in other directions which you may not think you should be going in. Um, but I think it's worth investigating at least uh, before you before you say no to a, to a pathway with certain relationships and that could be with your family, it could be with your friends, it could be with your partner. Um, and it's just, yeah, I think the guys there are trying to help you to sort the chat from the wheat and see what sort of things you really enjoy and what sort of things you don't enjoy. So you can put things to bed, basically, uh, within your mind's eye. Okay, let's just see how the uh, how the universe is influencing. Oh, no, we haven't actually done the, uh, the karmic path on the financial, the business side of life and the money side of life. This is just overflowing in all this in in all the senses. You've got lots of ideas and want to do lots of things. That might be that patient thing of sort of kind of going. You've got to learn to temper your passion where you just get carried away with one thing, um, and you, you usually are very good at that, Taurus. It's got to be said. Um, but sometimes. You know, we do get in 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 wrapped in the whole sort of the possibilities of tomorrow sort of scenario. Um, but for you, Taurus, I think it's more of a case of uh, here is 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 enjoying what you do in your work and making sure that every aspect of what you're doing as best as you can within your job, within your business, or within your projects, you're actually enjoying it. Uh, some things you may not want to do, but you've got to do it. Therefore, try and get the best out of it. And I think this is what this is what a bit of the learning curve here is this week to actually realise that you should be enjoying every little last little victory. Let's just see how that universe is sort of guiding that. It's definitely bringing it in very similar to this sort of side as well. But it's much more solid, much more sure. Um, a piece of wood is a piece of wood. Uh, it depends on what you sculpt in it or how you use that piece of wood will define how it's going to be used. So if I had a, a, I had a post, I could use it as a beam or I could uh, use it as, um, as a, a totem pole, or I could use the blocker to, to sculpt something, or I could use it as firewood. It's, it's, it still stays as wood, but how are you gonna use it? That's the thing. Um, that's what sort of seems as it's coming in. It's sort of offering you solid things, and it's how it's, you're gonna equate that within your business uh, and Hierophant, nice. Um, that's a lovely card to have there. It's built upon understanding and knowledge, uh, what works, what doesn't work. And I think this is what it's sort of saying with the message where it's sort of saying, use uh, the wood in the way that serves you the best. Uh, use your things that are around you within your job, within your business that serves you the best. And that brings you the best happiness and the best joy, the best uh, returns on your on that. Okay, let's just see how the guys are trying to influence that sort of karmic path. This is much more even, very similar to this card here, not the same though, and it seems to be more coming from you. So it's as if you're, there's a learning, there's a bit of a learning thing going on here. Uh, and I think that's to do with how you choose to use what the universe is providing for you. The understanding that you're using, the mechanics of working out how you use that piece of wood. Um, and, and 
and how you put things into place. Only you can do it. I think that's the, uh, the, the thing from it. Okay, so five of, um, five of swords, it's a transitional, uh, it's a transitional um, card. Uh, and it's walking away from things, it's how you choose things. So it's walking away from things that are causing you headaches, basically. Some things are not worth winning. Uh, and sometimes, you know, you could use a lovely piece of oak to prop up uh, something or to hold the door shut. But is that the best way to use that piece of wood? Uh, you know, be a bit more respectful to that nice bit of oak uh, sort of thing. Uh, and within your business world, there's, there's going to be opportunities that are probably not worth. So let's say you've got a business that say like your you've got an, an ice cream business, for example, that you're selling ice cream or uh, a bakery, you're selling baker, you're selling bread and patisserie and that sort of, those sort of products. Um, and you've got a competitor next door that's doing lots of different colored icing. Do you want to really go into a competition of colored icing to sort of compete with them? It probably doesn't suit you. Uh, and you've got to play to your strength. So it's walking away from conflict or conversations or, 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 or uh, uh, confrontations that doesn't, that doesn't, they're not worth winning. They're not worth winning. So it's, that's what the guides are trying to sort of influence on your karmic path. So it keeps you on that happy front. It's got to be said, you already had two queens last week on here and you've already got the queen at the base now. So this is really concentrating. It's, it's really, you know, concentrating the essence that is within you. Let's see how the guides influence that conversation. This is much more, yeah, they're, 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 they've got this, they've got this filter in place. So uh, when things come for you in the business world and you, you, you talk it through in your mind and then you get that moment of, yes, that's what I should be doing. I would probably listen to it because that's what they're sort of trying to help you to do. And they start trying to sort of re alleviate you from that doubt and that, um, not making those choices because you can't see everything. So they're eliminating that stress and strain of making choices. It's concentrating on the evident path within your financial and your money side of life this week. I think this is very mechanical, very straightforward this week in the way of jobs, uh, business, uh, those sort of activities where you can literally say, well, it's evident that I've got to do that first and then that and then that, and therefore I'm gonna need this, I'm gonna to have to use it like this, uh, and not like this. And it's gonna be very uh, matter of fact almost this week. And your guides are really trying to help you out. Um, it, may cause, it may cause that idea of, oh, I wish I didn't have to go through all of this stuff. But if you go through it now, you don't have to go through it later, and you're more likely to get better success in the future. Let's just see, have a look and see how you're combining these two here. It comes in from the outside world. So it's an interaction with the outside world that you're looking for. Uh, and it's coming in a way that there's a lot of uh, things that are coming at once uh, in this week. Um, and there seems to be a lot of things going on. Let me just see. Yeah, you seem to be able to um, confront it. Um, it's, you've got that crossing of air and fire underneath of it. So it's going to be that passion that of, for that here and now and that mechanic side of life that I think is going to be really good for you. It's going to allow you to sort of like kind of get head, a bit of a head steam, a bit of a headway going and be able to cut through those waves that are coming towards you. So, um, plow on, plow on. That seems to be the message, as it were. Okay, so page of cups. So it could be, yeah, it's just avoiding you from dreaming, I think. This is where the interaction is. Just, yeah, miracles can happen. Uh, pigs can fly. There are great possibilities, and it's good to daydream and to those sort of things. But I think the daydreaming time is over and you've got to be wary of that, that sometimes you're gonna, you may have a moment of tiredness where you're just kind of going, oh, okay, I want this life with it. 
but I would be wary of that if I was you. I think this is more of a warning card than anything else. Uh, so it's allowing the mechanics or the hierophant here, which I think is really important, and that uh, emperor on that side as well, combining with that queen of cups, I think that's gonna allow this here for you to almost feel that, that yeah, this is, this is really solid and, and life can be a dream. There's a song in that. Um, life could be a dream, sweetheart. Yeah, so, um, you know, and I think this is what, this is what you've got to learn to do, expressing your, your joy to live, okay? So there you go, Taurus, a very mechanical week for you, a very, very solid week for you, but uh, it's putting those things into place that's gonna allow you to really make springs, uh, you know, leaps forwards in the future. Okay, so uh, there you go, Taurus. If you want to be part of the Astro Flower family, it's very, very simple. All you gotta do is subscribe and click that bell. Clicking that bell apparently is really important. Don't know why, must ask YouTube about that one day. Um, and there's loads of links in the description below. There's also stuff that we do on Instagram as well. So in the meantime, Taurus, uh, yes, don't forget, life should be fun, so please do enjoy.